fan of the Hauraki Big Show podcast? Make sure you check out more from Jay, Smike and Keezy on their Instagram at Hauraki Big Show or tune in to them 4 to 7 every weekday on Radio Hauraki. Thanks, mate. Wow. I wasn't expecting that, actually. What were you expecting, man? Well, no, I just, because usually Keezy faffs around a bit. Oh, yeah. And says, can you try talk into it? Oh, what, one, two, three, that? one, two, three, oh, test, ten, test. What's going on with it? F and Jeff. But then it was like, douche, we're just into it. There's only one F and Jeff right I at the start. I wasn't um, mentally prepared, Keezy. Well, just for the listener's benefit, we're in the ACC studio right now, which is a shambles every time you use it. Yeah. It just glitches out and things don't work properly. And the poor like my headphones fellas. at the moment. Yeah, so I just did a whole podcast for like fifty minutes, wiggling the little thing there to make them work. Wiggly, oh, nothing wiggly. like that. That just does my head and that sort of shit. Yeah, man. And I can barely see you, Jace. Yeah, well, I can't see you at all, and I can barely hear myself. But hey, we'll soldier on with yeah. God. We'll soldier on. Oh fuck. Good stuff. How hey, was your shooting last night, man? Oh. I'll tell you all about it in the show. Okay. It was... What were you shooting? Keezy. It's a good question, Keezy. Let me just put it this way. It's just getting to the point where I'm going, okay, I need to totally reevaluate my life <laughs> because this is ridiculous what's going on at the moment. Right. Just ridiculous... Event after event that's just turning into a farce. Mm. On the good side, it's material. On the bad side, it's really fucking me off now. Right. So like that batch situation, for example. Yes. Like the cancelled flight situation, for example. It's all everything. So a couple of fairly minor inconveniences. Oh, no. The the batch was not minor. That was a fucking pain in the ass. Not to Keezy and... and and Pug's son, they didn't mind it as much. Not as much as you. Yeah. that That's because they didn't know what they were missing out on. Well, they did. They went and to the batch. We yes. weren't hosting, though. There's extra stress, though. Yeah, it's more hosting. stress, yeah, if you feel like you fucked it up. Yeah. Well, I didn't, though. That oh, was I know, I know. But I guess you're conscious of the fact that no one believes it. You know, but I'm also conscious of the fact of, <laughs> um, you know, not bleating on about it either. But But it is funny. What happened last night was funny. Right. It was so stupid that it was just like, oh, for fuck's sake. And, and, and then I reached a point last night when I was just sitting on the couch at one thirty in the morning going, the fuck is going on? This is just ridiculous. Yeah. Stupid shit. Do you reckon you give up acting? The acting was fine. Yeah, I, I know, but it's not about the acting. It um, sounds like the shagging around involved is, like, that, but mind-numbing. The, but even that is part and parcel of acting. Oh, but you it know. is. But it doesn't mean you like it. No. Mm. Um, but, you know, like like we were talking about, back in the day, you just take it all on the chin and shit. As you get older and you're grumpier and stuff, you don't take it so well. Yeah. But you also don't want to be a prima donna either. you just got to suck it up and go, no, all right, no, all right. But then everyone knows you're in a hur of a mood on set. It was funny, actually. Tracy, the, the actor I was I working know, Tracy. with. She Yes. She was in hysterics because she... She, she said, "I, it's great. I can just hear you going. <sighs> <laughs> but, you know, you're sitting there going, oh, for fuck's sake. That is the soundtrack to my life at the moment, is you <laughs> yeah. sighing. It's the soundtrack to my life, too. It's just like, oh, for fuck's sake. But, yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, how about. First world problems. Starting today, we stop everything from being a shambles. Well, I just mean. Just starting that, now. Yeah, no, it's. It, it's just that this week's been an uns- uh, yeah. an unfortunate series of events. It has. It's been bizarre. But also this last year and a half's been an absolute shit show. And so it's all adding up. Yeah. The last three weeks for me, though, and I mean, for example, Mike, you're getting your sickness back again, which is a massive ball ache. And then I had a trip to Christchurch, which was cancelled because my nan got sick. Yeah. And then the next weekend, trip to Christchurch, cancelled it again because of the funeral. And then the next weekend, your batch cancelled that because... Uh, you stuffed up the booking. 
and and then Nelson tri- can I be very frog. clear no, that you, I did not you, stuff up the book. You didn't. You yeah, did thus it. my fury. Yes, but like I feel like a lot of things the last month or so, even for me, are a bit of a shambles. Oh, and you forgot to take your hoodie, my pillow, uh, your pillow, and everything, and yeah. a towel. You got the mogies. I got yes. a case of the. Mo- I think it's starting to rub off. Okay. Yeah, it is. Well, it is. it does. It does. Oh no. Damn. Um, because I'm trying to think. And there- I said because oh, I had a. I went to counselling today and. <laughs> And I said to the, the woman who I do my counselling with, I said, the fellows are joking now that I'm cursed. And, yeah. And I'm beginning to believe I am. <laughs> you know what I mean? What I did actually, she say? She said, you're not cursed. Well, I mean, um, it, but know. to be cursed with things that are a minor inconvenience, isn't it? No, but you're putting it all as minor inconveniences, but cumulatively. <laughs> yeah, they're, but, but they're, if you're talking about, like, work is a pain in the ass. You had a flight cancelled, a batch is double booked. Like those then are, last those, night, those, yeah. And that's and I'm talking about but three it, days in a row, like four days in a row. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, I don't know. They're not. That's not the big. You've got bit more important pressing issues in your life than that shit. Ab- absolutely, but those things uh, it are, tend to be the things that, that break, break the back. camel's yeah, back. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh how can we? How can we minimize? Okay, so when we when we lock in a date for the batch. I'm we're, not even going to go there right now. We're going to call your father-in-law two weeks out and then a week out. No, no, Keezy, this isn't for you to organise. No, exactly. And the day before. You mind your business. But I just want to help minimise. I know you minimize. do. I know you do. You're sticking your beak in. No, I care this about is Jace. J- no, no, this is for Jace. This is Jace. We'll get it he done. He can handle we'll it, We'll get mate. it done. It's only, it's only even once in 20 years, did I what? hear you say? Exactly. <laughs> Keezy. I, I, ex- I can't, exactly I that I cannot point. wait, Keezy, for you to have a kid. Because you are going to go through and you're going to try and solve every single one of your kids' problems. Every every single every one. single one, and that kid is going to be fucking useless <laughs> as a result of that. As a result, because they need to work everything out for themselves, right? That's the hardest thing is you just got to yes. go. You work it out, mate. You work it out. It is going to be the most difficult challenge for you as a human being, as no. a father, will be letting them work out for themselves because you are unable to stay out of people's business. But do you know why? <laughs> do you know actually, my wife refuses to let me fix anything. It's sure. the most infuriating fucking thing in my entire life is the fact that any time I suggest anything that could make anything slightly better, she goes, well, why don't you do it then? Exactly. <laughs> and, then, and then doesn't let but me do it. But it would drive me up the wall having somebody constantly thinking they know better. The Hauraki Big Show, weekdays from four on Radio Hauraki. The Hauraki Big Show podcast. Well, in these cases, I feel like yeah, you can you minimize like, yes, yes, minimize yeah. potential stress. Yeah, that's just how my brain works. I know, I know. But what I'm saying is, when you have a kid, yeah, that is not going to give you great returns on that kid because they will be like, and they get frustrated, and they and you, your instinct is to help. Yeah, but you can't. You're not allowed to because it just ends up ruining the kid. See, that's like the other day I went for a walk with my mate, Guy, and he's got a two-and-a-half-year-old daughter. And we went to the playground, and I've not had a lot of time with a you know a, a kid of that a age. Little in. Yeah. A little in. And it was great fun. Um, and at one point she was trying to get into the swing thing. Yeah. And then I was like, and genuinely the guy, I was like, so in this situation, do you help her do it? And he's like, to be honest, no. If she's really struggling and getting upset. Yeah. I will. Otherwise, absolutely not. You just let her figure it out. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. And you went against every fibre of my being. You wait till yeah. you, you wait till you get to the teenage years. Oh, dude. That is next level. It's going to be so good. That's where you're going, okay, I don't want you going down these stupid paths, but at the same time, I went down those stupid paths. <laughs> so I can't, I'm not going to sit here and say you can't do this. But I can give you some guidelines, yeah. and then off you go. And boy, and but you've also got to realize too. I mean, the difference between when we were teenagers mm. and teenagers today is a fucking planet. Yeah, absolutely. It is a completely different world. Social media and all that shit. It is a nightmare. Yeah, mm. I can so, imagine. Although I do think my kids will be different, though. Yeah, <laughs> your kids will be different. <laughs> yeah, with the right advice. But uh, absolutely, there's got to be an element of you've got to. Le- that is the hardest thing is letting your kids make mistakes. So and going, okay, this is a mistake, but you don't even say that. Yeah. But I'm going to let you make it. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, at a younger age, it's it's more just basic than that. Yes, it's just. Uh, 
you can yes yeah it's not so mental and emotional no no that's right and all of it and because I've got a younger sister she's sixteen years younger than me so it's quite a big difference yes and so when she was coming up through her teenage years I was like twenty nine thirty mm. and so but I could come in at a position from. Rather than, you know, parents, parents by and large, they'll tell their kids what to do. Yes. And because of the experiences that they've had. But for me, what I learned through that was, yeah, you can do that. This is what this is what I used to do when I was your age. And this is what I found happened to me as a result mm. of me doing those things. Yes. And then when you talk like that, they're more inclined to tell you the shit that they've been up to as well and be yes. more open about what they're going through. Yes. Because you just go, yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, they're just like, oh, fuck, I'll just shut up. But if you say, yeah, I used to be an absolute piece of shit and I'm amazed that I'm alive. Yes. Then they go, yeah, well, actually, yeah. Yeah. You can take that approach too, and it's a good approach, you know, even with your kids. And the, uh, But you you can also get, uh-huh, thanks. You did it. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't want to know. And you go, okay. Yeah. Just saying. I'm just yeah. saying. I kind of went. But, you know, I, we were talking a little while back about, you know, letting people learn their own way. And, and one of the, this, this interesting phenomenon, like with private schools, mm. like Kings and stuff like that up here in Auckland, where they would just be managed to the nth degree by their teachers and ch- shown how to pass their exams and micromanaged. And then they'd get into a university situation and the fallout mm. and the lack of completion was massive amongst that kind of, group of kids because everything had been done for them and they had no sense of doing shit themselves. That's like former professional sports people. Yes. Because they're, you know, they're given their regime basically and how and their diets and all that stuff. And then as soon as that finishes, quite often, unless you get help, yes. all of a sudden you're just on your own. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Which can be quite tough. And they fall apart yeah, or so, can do. So what you want to it's do in that situation one, is you want to like two years. <laughs> I'm just joking, of course, but I only I only want to help Jace because I know he's stressed. But you want to help everybody. Like I don't want to help you. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think you need help. No, no. And but I, don't I mean, Jace- no, but I mean, every opportunity there is for you to give advice, you will give it. You love you love jumping in at that, which is not a bad thing. I feel it's like not, it is. No, it's not. No, it's I not like a bad it. thing at all. I it's like not it. a bad thing at all. All right, but you jump. You've you've always got advice to give in every situation. So my point, the only point I'm making is that when you have a kid, it is going to be very tough for you. <laughs> very very tough. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, no, I like it. I mean, and it's going to be hard enough anyway. Yeah, it's going to be really hard. Can't well, you guys, actually, you guys must be due to, have to start having kids, aren't you? Because you guys are both getting on. But it's also that thing too. Because what um, you do is you take out your... When you... <laughs> you know, when you're having a hoorah of a time and stuff, a lot of the time you don't want advice. Oh, no. It's the least moment. No, it's the no. least when you... When you open to it, la- the last thing you Thanks. want, <laughs> Thanks, Gizzy, is when people fucking go, oh, this is what you should do. And you go, just, just fuck just off. Just let me fucking moan about yeah. my life. Yes. And in fact, that's, that's usually uh, that's a complaint in your relationships, right? Oftentimes you'll find that uh, your partner wants to vent. Yeah. But as males, and this is a broad strokes, fucking blah, blah, blah what you want to problem solve. So when you hear somebody complaining to you about a problem, you go, oh, well, why don't you do this? Why don't you do this? Mm. And But their thing is, no, no, I don't want you to solve it. Mm. I just want to be able to complain about it. Whereas my thing is, I don't want to hear any complaining. Let's solve it. Right. Which is also... No, I'm okay. I've changed. I used to be like that. You get beaten up by it, eh? No, I'm, I'm happy for them to <laughs> complain for a while. Oh, for a while, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, after yeah, yeah. a wee while... How are you feeling? Too? Should we try about and- a minute? Yeah, yeah. It's for me. But I do also say, is this? Are we just complaining, or are we? So, you know, is this yeah. Something, what you are know? we doing here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't really complain to my wife, but I can be in a hur of a mood. Oh, I, and, I imagine this dark clouds and, over old hoodie, Jay. There, and she, um, she'll just leave me alone. Yeah, and, and, and that's the only time where it's like. Well, when I'm in a bad mood, not because necessarily things have gone wrong or anything, and people go, oh, why don't you go and do this? Or why don't you go and do that? And it's like, no, I just want to be in a fucking bad mood. And, just and leave me alone. And his missus has learnt that from raising four daughters, <laughs> and that is 
when your kid's in a her of a mood, mood, just let them work it out yeah. for themselves. Leave it alone. <laughs> yeah. Like, Do you just go quiet? Do you bring a real yes. dark clip? Yeah, I'm the same. Yes. Yeah, it's a bad trait. I got that off my mum. Yes. Um, my wife had this funny thing last night to do with that, which is like when my partner gets angry, she doesn't want to talk to me yeah. or be near me, but she still wants me to be nearby so that she can show me that she doesn't want to talk to me or be oh, near really? me. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, yeah. like, so if you just yeah. completely shut them off, that, that'll make them even more annoyed. Whereas if you attempt to talk to them, they'll at they least like be given that. the chance to be like, no, I'm angry at you. Yeah, right. And that helps. All right. Yes. So It's annoying, it's isn't it? It's fascinating yeah. stuff. Really it's fascinating, fascinating stuff. Hey, anyway, listen to the Hodaki Big Show 4 to 7. Or don't. We'll solve all your problems. Yeah, whatever. Sort it out. Got enough problems of our own.